saying that I'm the biggest cash of the day. Ellen's <laughs> recipes. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Helen here. So it's now 5 a.m. and I'm standing in front of one of the most special fish markets in Vietnam. And I would say it's the freshest seafood market in the world because it's right on the beach. <laughs> so we've just parked our motorbikes here and let's go check them out. So the market opens uh, like at 3 a.m. and it will close as soon as they sell out all the seafood here. Whew. So it's just open until uh, 6 30 somehow, only uh, three hours every day. It's now still very early. <laughs> wow, the smell! Very strong seafood smell. So this fish market is located right at the foot of Central Peninsula and you can see the Lady Buddha is standing there facing down the city and she is believed to protect the city from all the natural disasters like uh, tropical storms and all that. This market has been around for like ever but this is just my second time here because I never wake up this early <laughs> to go to the market. Uh, even though it's still very early now, most of the seafood is already being packaged and sold out because uh, it's going to be delivered to all the restaurants and uh, seafood restaurants around the city. So these are the traditional and very typical fishing boats here in central Vietnam. It's like a basket, you know, so it's, a, it's called basket boat, I guess. This boat is like crazy. If you don't know how to ride it, it's gonna just go around and around. Actually, I never <laughs> brave enough to go on this boat. <laughs> They're just saying that I'm the biggest cash of the day. <laughs> So most of the seafood here are really, really fresh. They uh, catch the fish from the other boats or this one and then brought to the market here for sale. The sun has risen up and it's now 5.40 and uh, now it's very bright so we can go and check out the fish. Wow, look at this. All the very fresh snails. Seafood snails. They have everything here from fresh squids to snails to shrimps to sea crabs, all sorts of things you can imagine. But most of them are fishes that are closer to the shore. No lobster though. <laughs> wow, look at the fresh fish here. These are the special local macros fish. They are shining fresh. Look at the eyes. Oh God. So here they have so many different kinds of fish, very local one. And I don't really know the English name for them. So this one I think is uh, cá chai. And then they have here is uh, cá mối, very local fish that probably you can't find in other part of Vietnam. I'm not sure. These are cá lưỡi trâu. They are really flat. So this one you should coat in flour and then deep fry. So batter fry them, very delicious. These are mukum, meaning rice squids. So they are really tiny. It's gonna taste really good if you fry with fish sauce or chiên mắm. So this is cut that. I think we can cook in caramelized fish sauce. And this long one is uh, cá hố, I guess. 
<laughs> I'm still very confused with all the names that, that the local named them. So we have all different kinds of fish here. So this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's kayo. It's very great to cook in uh, sweet and sour fish soup. Kayo nó cần chua. Wow, so look at the sun. It just gone up. And you can see it right at the back of the Santa Peninsula. So beautiful. Wow. If you want to bring the fish home, they can package fish with ice so you can bring home safely. So if you're a tourist, you can definitely get up early and come here to buy the seafood. You can have them pack the seafood in the foam box like this with the ice and then you can bring home so the fish and the seafood can stay fresh when you are back. This is cá khế, cá hồng và cá chim. Yeah. Wow, look at the fish, it's blinking under the sunshine, so beautiful. This is a pretty uh, special specialty of Da Nang, it's called Gang Kum Kum. And these are the bodies. We actually don't eat the bodies at all, we just eat the uh, the claws <laughs> and that's the part that has the most meat and these are the little anchovies which is what we use to make uh, fish sauce you can also batter fry them or you can cook them in fish sauce as well it's really amazing so these are the tiny fishes that are not fresh anymore they're gonna bring back to the factory and make uh, powder Look at what I bought today. This cá uh, ngang is really good for sweet and sour soup. And so this now 6.30 and the market has come to the end. Uh, if you're traveling to Da Nang, make sure that you can get up early and check this market out because it's an amazing place where you can witness the local life of the local people here. And it's also an amazing spot for those of you who love photography hunting. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you like it, please click thumbs up and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook page for more updates of daily life and food of Vietnamese people. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.